Oke, okay, welcome back to Physicors with me, Miss Email. And then now we are going to continue our lesson um, about force. So, first of all, let us pray first. Oke, okay. uh, do you still remember about mass, wake, and then how to measure mass? How do you measure weight? Nah, in this lesson, we are going to learn about force that is related with the previous content about mass, weight, and uh, like of that. On this chapter, we are going to learn about define the force and mention type of force in daily life and then show force which are proportionally applied on an object and then we are going also to measure weight and mass of an object and calculate the magnitude of the force and then define Newton law in daily life first we are going to learn about define the force about force have you ever seen or have you ever done this pull and push the door or what is it or pull the garden and like of that a force is a push or pull we cannot see a force but we can see the effect of the force the force can move a stationary object stop a moving object or change its direction or force can change the speed of an object it can also change the shape of an object a force is measured using the force meter. The SI unit of a force is Newton. There are two kinds of force. Uh, there are for contact force and non-contact force. When we push or pull an object, we have applied force to the object, and the object will move in the direction of the applied force. An applied force, an example of a cope of contact force. Friction is also a form of contact force. Friction goes against motion, even though tree can that can slow things down and makes movement difficult. There are many things we couldn't do without friction. Friction holds us to the ground and allowing us to walk like sleeping. Eh, sleeping. Friction causes a car to break in time to exist. The amount of frictional force depends on the texture of surface in contact. When the surface is smooth, there is less friction. The force that makes things fall to the ground is called gravity. Gravity is an example of non-contact force. Gravity pulls an object towards the earth. To the course of gravity also exists on the moon, uh, but it isn't strong as in earth. When object rests on a surface, there will be there will always be a reaction force. When we are standing on the earth, the reaction force balances the weight of our body, so we don't fall all through the pavement. The reaction is also called normal force. Magnetic force is a non-contact force. Magnetic force only acts on magnetic objects, iron, steel, and nickel are magnetic materials and the force of magnetic attraction pulls the magnet magnetic object towards the magnet the interaction of force makes the world we live in the way it is a cycle on a bicycle experience the interaction of the different force gravity pulls the weight of bicycle and the rider towards the earth while an equal reaction force acts upwards to balance gravity. As he writes, the frictional force between wheels of the bicycle and the ground acts against the world forward force and he doesn't go too fast. As a fish swims forward water resistance acts in the opposite direction while gravity pulls the fish toward the bottom of the water. The upthrust exerts an upward force and counters gravity in levels like the upward lift applied to the wings of an aeroplane is equal to the downward weight of the plane. While force forward towards the pallet is equal to the air frictional drag on the plane. Okay guys, now we are going to learn about show force which are professionally applied on of, of an object. Okay. We are going to use pad simulation as 
our what is it uh, supporting system to know about professionally applied on of, of an object okay let's go to pet simulation okay sorry here come back to this learning and then now we are going to use pets okay in this pet simulation there are red people and blue people and they shown about uh, the uh, force itself so if we try to put this red person so it will be 150 newton force to the right and also put this blue person it also 115 newton to the left and how if uh, we put this person and then this person okay and then we add here so what will gonna be happen yo so what is the magnitude of the force okay so it is 300 newton to the right and 200 newton to the left so uh, to know the magnitude we have to uh, what is it to know the sum of the force because it is 300 newton to the left to the right and the opposite is 200 newton to the left so 300 newton uh, minus 200 newton it will be 100 newton to the to the bigger of the uh, of the of the force itself uh, because the force is bigger to the right so it will be 100 newton to the right so uh, that's how the we show the magnitude of the force of the object like this okay let's try again how if we try to use this person and then this person and then this person okay there are 150 newton to the left and 100 newton to the right so it will be oh wow so it will be right or left yay left why because the left is bigger than the right so the magnitude is 150 newton minus 100 newton so it will be 15 newton to the to the left because the left is bigger than the right so that's all about the magnitude of the force that in pet simulation come back to the power point so now we're going to measure weight and mass of an object Okay, do you know that weight is different with the mass? Yes, it's different because weight is different on other planets due to the gravity. However, our mass is the same everywhere. Also remember, is best quantities and weight is derived quantities. For example, in the Earth, our weight is 50 kg, but our weight is 110 lbs. And when we go to the Mars, our mass is still 50 kg, but our weight is decreased into 42 lbs. Why it can be like this? Because the weight is influenced by gravity. So because of the gravity of the Earth is different with the gravity of the Mars, so it will be uh, it will be shown the different point of the weight okay do you understand about this uh, basic concept of the difference of weight and mass okay uh, after that we are going to define newton's law in daily life the first newton's law newton's first law so 
Newton's first law is called uh, the law of inertia. An object at rest will remain at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. An object in motion continues in motion with the same speed and the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. It also F, F like this, F equal zero. Have you ever have you ever experienced when you are in the car and the car suddenly stop and then your body suddenly goes to the uh, what is it in front of the car like this like this okay have you ever experienced about that so that's the the example of the Newton's first law then okay okay okay. And the second is Newton's first law, or uh, this is the example. Oh my god, sorry for this. I have to erase this first. Yeah, okay, okay. In Newton's for in Newton's second law, uh, it, it can be described like this the greater the mass of an object being accelerated, the greater the amount of force needed to accelerate it. How? How how is the nah, nah. Uh, why 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 it can be like this? For example, you are playing a uh, ball, and when you have to push the ball, you have to what is it to push the ball right? So uh, another example when you push the what is it the wall? So you feel pain right so uh, the Newton second law stated that F equal the equal equal mass times acceleration and acceleration is produced when a force acts on a mass the object okay now we are going to learn about Newton's third law the Newton's third law uh, is described on what is it you have you ever experienced about the rocket you have seen the rocket right the rocket is like this the rocket give an action to the to the earth and the earth give a reaction to the rocket so that rocket can be flight and it also called like f action equal than f reaction for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction Okay, for simplifying, we are going to see another example on daily life. The first is, have you ever seen this? This is the sugar glider. Yes, why sugar glider uh, can fly? Because of this, because of the... Because of this, because of this, nah like a wing so in newton's first law a flying square glides through the air between three staying in motion until it reached the new destination but in but in the second law the flying squirrel changed the position of the, of its limbs to increase and decrease speed the greater the change in position the greater the change in speed and also in Newton's third law, the foot of the flying squirrel push off the tree before flying and exert force on the tree. Another example. Oh, in biology, say like that. So it can be fly because of the uh, body of the sugar glider's anatomy is like this. Yes. And then, oh. We can also see the Newton's law on foot movement. In physics, foot movement can be explained by Newton's third law, reaction and reaction. When the runner push down on the ground, the man is exerting the force. Okay, we can also see the fish. The fish is also applied the Newton's law. Why? Why? Because it's like this. Mm, here when the fish is uh, swimming 
the fish exert a force and contact force of the water of the fish and also contact force of the fish on the water so the fish can swim like this and next next what is it ah there's a video here the swimmers and the fish is swimming so when swimming it will react the Newton's law example is bird how yes because also the birds have wings right when the wings the air don't work the Okay, there's the video of the flight of the bird, amazing right? So we can see another example of the Newton's law in our daily life. Okay, that's all of our lesson. So it's time for a quiz. For please click here. Let's see the quiz. Let's see the quizzes. And also don't forget to fill your name and to answer the question it can also see the score after you done the quiz so good luck and force them limit cheer up okay guys this is the quiz and uh, you should fill the name and choose the best option Mm. And don't forget to send this quiz. Okay, quiz words for the limit and cheer up. Alhamdulillah, we have finished the lesson. And don't forget to fill the quiz. Okay, see you tomorrow. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.